Most people in America prefer Satan today over God. Our forefathers and foremothers came to America in the pursuit of God. They came here for freedom of their religion. They came here for freedom of their practices. They came here for freedom of the potential of prosperity, and that is what Americans do. Yet people prefer Satan today. I define Satan, in my opinion, based on my readings of all the works that I've read on God, which may be more than you at this time, in that my bookshelf is full of works on God, and it is a pursuit and hobby of mine. So do not berate me for that fact that I have a love of God. But what the late Derek Prince calls Satan is the antagonist. So what I'm questioning you today to think about is how do you perform in your life today? Are you pursuing Satan today? In other words, are you an antagonist in your home? Are you an antagonist with your spouse or a loved one? Are you an antagonist with your children? Playing devil's advocate all the time. Are you an antagonist in your workplace? Are you an antagonist with your colleagues? Are you an antagonist in the community? Are you an antagonist with strangers who you see regularly? Are you the antagonist? Because an antagonist is a gossip, an antagonist is a ruiner of life, an antagonist interferes with God's plans, an antagonist is never right. People who pursue God know that America is about freedom. People who pursue God know that America is about safety, and people who pursue the Lord, who recognize God Most High, do not try to become God over someone's life, to enslave them to their whims and to their wishes. In America, we have the right to pursue life, liberty, and happiness, and usually a part of happiness is the pursuit of love. And what's amazing that I have observed for the many years of being a soothsayer and a, well, not really a card player, but... In essence, what I'm saying is, we all have the ability to observe things. But my responsibility with gifts of the Spirit that I'm not ashamed to talk about is that the more that I submit to God, loving God, the more wisdom I gain. And the more gifts that I have, the more prophetic understanding I gain. So if you want to pit yourself against me, please don't do that. But what I am challenging you to say is, are you a pursuer of God or are you a pursuer of Satan? Because a pursuer of God loves people to a point that they are safe. And a pursuer of God is not someone who is hateful, who tries to ruin someone's face. A pursuer of God is not deceitful, who tries to take over someone's property and possessions and paperwork. And a pursuer of God is not someone who is hurtful, who tries to harm a person's body without his rights to say no. A pursuer of God is someone who is loving and kind as much of the time as they can be, and a pursuer of Satan is a usurper, someone who's trying to interfere with your life, someone who's trying to make you queer in your life, someone who's trying to ruin your life through gossip and fodder and information that is not theirs. 